Hello. It's good to see you. Today we have some food from a new restaurant in Jamestown, North Carolina. It's called Black Powder and it's a barbecue place. And um, I treated myself to a meal from there tonight. I got some wonderful stuff. Um, and they had banana pudding, which it smells good. It's hot. They had this big thing of homemade banana pudding. I got a chopped barbecue sandwich. These are pimento puppies. They're just like regular hush puppies, but they have pimentos in there. And they make this Gouda mac and cheese. It's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That chopped barbecue is great. Now they give you three options for the barbecue sauce. Right now it doesn't have any on it. This is just smoked barbecue. They have western style barbecue sauce. Uh, an eastern style right here. Vinegar based and the western style is more like um, tomato. And then they have a proprietary blend here. I don't know what's in it, but this stuff is really great. It has an S on it. I forget. I think it means like special house blend or something anyway. This is the one I prefer. I actually like this better than either the Eastern or the Western. Dexter's in here with me. If you hear him talking, he um, he's really interested in what I have up here. <laughs> so the reason I treated myself to this today was because we had our big Christmas luncheon at work today and I, I had to miss it. And I kind of feel cheated. <laughs> Like, I, I allow myself, you know, to have some, you know, some, I splurge a little bit for things like that. I don't normally eat this way. This is just water. I don't normally eat this way, but this, this is so good. <laughs> okay, so I want to get the proprietary blend of barbecue sauce. They give you a lot. It's a little runny. It's messy. I'm just going to tell you now. I'm just going to pour it. Oh, and it just soaks right down into that barbecue. Dexter's rubbing on the tripod. I do apologize. He's very animated. Mm. Oh, it smells so spicy. It's um, it's really special. So when you pick it up, it kind of falls out. I don't care. It's good. This is really good barbecue. Mmm. It's so good. You know, honestly, once you pick it up, it's kind of hard to set it down. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah. The pimento puppies, they're just like regular hush puppies. They just have pimentos in them. It's really good. <laughs> now the macaroni and cheese is great. Everything they make everything there. They have um, a special type of um, baked beans and collard greens, which I'm really not a fan of collard greens, but I've heard they're really good. Gouda mac and cheese. Mm. It has that skin on top. Um, when I went up there to place my order, I, I took a picture of where they were cutting. They had brisket up there and barbecue and um, some kind of little sausages or something.
So I got cheated out of my Christmas luncheon today. <laughs> Well, cheated is not the right word. I wasn't cheated, but um, I actually had somewhere else I had to be. But they do this whole big elaborate luncheon with like roast beef and all the trimmings and just, it's a really, a really nice meal. So, I kind of, it's, it's been a wet, nasty day, and I haven't really had a proper meal all day today. Those things are so good. It's all good. Well, for starters, we had a little bit of freezing rain this morning, so the schools were on a two hour delay. So instead of dropping them off at 7.15 like I normally do, I couldn't drop them off till 9.15. I love how, how tender this macaroni is. It's not dry at all. It's, it's really good. Um, so, I didn't feel like driving all the way to work, which is a considerable distance from my house. Just to have to turn around and go back home and get him and take him to school. So, I just had to notify people and let them know I'd be in after 9.15. So I, I didn't get to work until about 9.45. And then, Lord have mercy, that is so good. I don't, I don't normally eat stuff like this at all. I, I don't. This is not part of my regular, <laughs> my regular meal plan. It has just been cold and wet and nasty outside all day today. And you ever just feel like you get cold and you can't get warm? I felt that way all day today. I just could not get warm. And then my son, my younger son, is a wonderful speller. He, he is very, very good at spelling. And um, he won his class spelling bee. He's won it every year since they start doing them in the third grade. He's won his class spelling bee every year, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, so the school spelling bee was at one o'clock today. So I knew I had to get back to the school by one o'clock. Well, the school is a, it's a pretty good distance from where I work. So I had two and a half hours to get all my work done, basically. And I missed the luncheon because the luncheon was at the same time as the spelling bee. But of course I wasn't going to miss that. I wanted to be there for him. I wanted to be there to cheer him on, you know. Not many parents go to the spelling bee. There might have been four other parents there. But um so each class has a winner and they participate. I think there were ten kids. I think there were ten kids up there. Um and uh he won it. He won the school spelling bee in the third grade.
but he made the same mistake this year that he made last year. Dexter is over here flopping around on the floor. He's just, he's playing with nothing. He's hilarious. He likes to lie on the floor and get up in the corner and try to catch his own tail. <laughs> he's adorable. He's calmed down a lot. He's still pretty crazy, but he's calmed down a lot. He's not as loud as he was. He's usually content, like he'll play around a little bit, and then he's just content, you know, just hanging out here with me. I haven't officially introduced him to the other two cats yet. He's going, to, uh, he has to go back to the vet on Thursday uh, to get neutered, and um, I kind of wanted to wait until that was over to introduce them because he's going to come back smelling weird and he'll have a cone on his head, and I thought, if you introduce him now, you're just going to have to go through it all over again, so just wait. Um, well... He was unofficially, accidentally introduced to Punkin last night. We, ouch! He's biting my ankle. He's an ankle biter, literally. Okay, Punkin has not come up here into my room since Dexter arrived on Monday night. She has not come in this room. Except, well, no, she did a couple times. Like, she would come in and sniff at the door. But she would not get under the bed. Now, she likes to hang out and sleep under my bed. She's not done that since he got here. So I had no reason to think she was in here. Okay. So I let Dexter out of the bathroom and he's wandering around in here. Wouldn't have his bedroom door shut. Nothing going on. And my younger son was in here. I was telling you about the spelling bee. I'll get back to them that in a minute. Fatal flaw in the spelling bee for my son. And I told him last year not to do this, and he did it again. Anyway, now he's attacking my chair, my stool. Dexter! I'm afraid he's going to grab my butt or something. <laughs> okay, this is the worst eating video ever. So, my younger son is in here, and Dexter's just, you know, walking around, meowing and purring, and we're petting him, and he goes up under the bed, which he's done before, I don't, you know, I don't worry about it, and my son looked under the bed, he said, Mom, Pumpkin's under there, I said, no, she's not, he said, yes, she is, she's right back there, I said, oh, no, Dexter was already up under the bed, he was, way, I couldn't have reached him if I wanted to, and all of a sudden, you hear this, Ooh. And they encountered one another and started growling at each other. I told my son, I said, you might want to back up. He's, he's trying to get up under the bed. I said, back up. Back away. I'm going to open the door. Just clear a path. Because any minute now, a furry bolt of lightning is going to go running out of this room. And that's going to be pumpkin. It's going to be a gray blur. And it's going to, it's going to be pumpkin. So we need to stay out of the way so she can run. Because she will, as first chance she gets, she's going to run out of here. And about 30 seconds later, that's exactly what she did with Dexter chasing right behind her. But I got the door shut before he ran out into the hallway. So that encounter didn't go well. Mmm, <laughs> that barbecue sauce is so good. No, I know this isn't low carb. This isn't normally what I eat. But I was going to allow myself a little indulgence at the luncheon today until I found out this spelling bee was going to be today also. So I actually ended up not getting to have lunch at all. And I didn't have breakfast either. So I got to work late. Um, and I don't normally like to eat first thing in the morning. I get to work late. And I have these Atkins shakes. And I open one. I took a sip of it and it smelled kind of funny and it tasted a little weird, so I threw it out. 
And then I realized I didn't really have anything else there to eat. I usually keep food in my desk drawer. You know, I have, I'll have, I had a little bit of granola. So I had a little bit of that and some almonds, but I didn't really have anything else to eat. So I thought, well, okay, I guess I'll just eat later. <laughs> but then, you know, I, I was hoping I'd have time to stop somewhere before getting to the school, but I didn't. I had to work right up until 1230 to finish everything I was doing. So I didn't have time to stop and get anything to eat. And then the, the spelling bee was an hour. So I didn't get out of there until two o'clock. I was starving. And I, um, I had some more granola. I went home and had some granola. And then I got busy doing stuff. And I just never really ate anything else. And then I got to thinking I was absolutely starving. I thought we should go get some of that um, good stuff from that new restaurant. And it is so good. I'm gonna actually open this up and put a little bit more of that sauce on there. I'm gonna make a mess here in a second. And they, they chop it up right there in front of you. You can see everything they do. And it's not that expensive at all. And it's absolutely wonderful. It's delicious. They smoke it right there on site. They prepare everything right there. Southern Roots right down the street still my favorite restaurant ever but this is a close second Dexter's now trying to open the door he wants to go out there so bad he knows the other cats are out there I'm just not going to introduce him yet They, they will um, come, well, Evie will come in here and kind of sniff at the door. I think she's scared of him. <laughs> He's laying on his back trying to dig under the door. <laughs> okay, sorry. Fatal flaw in the spelling bee technique. Okay. I don't want to toot my own horn. But I've always been a really good speller. Um, we didn't do spelling bees in the school I went to. Um, we would do classroom spelling bees occasionally, but that was it. And I won more than my fair share of classroom spelling bees. I was, I've just always been a good speller. I don't even try. It's like, when I need to spell a word, I could just picture it in my mind. I can literally just see it, and I'm just reading it. I, like, I could just look at it and read it off. <laughs> he has this crinkle toy. He's just randomly attacking things in here. I was hoping he would just lie down and go to sleep, but... No, he's a little feisty tonight. Okay, we have three pimento puppies. I'm getting to the fatal flaw. If you've ever participated in a spelling bee or watched someone, you know that they have pretty specific rules. They have to follow the script spelling bee rules, um, even on this local level. And he actually got to go to the county spelling bee two years ago because he won the school spelling bee. But if they, they give you the word and you have to say the word, spell it, and then say it again. And you can ask for uh, origin of the word, like if it's French or Latin or whatever. 
ask them to use it in a sentence, and you can ask for a definition of the word. I think that's all you can do. Oh, and they have a, a dry erase board up there because sometimes the kids like to write the word and then, you know, they, they're allowed to do that. When I was doing spelling bees, we couldn't do that. But anyway, okay. So the, my son's word that knocked him out this year was pedal. Pedal. Now I can think of three words right now that sound like pedal, but they're all spelled differently. P-E-D-A-L, P-E-T-A-L, and P-E-D-D-L-E. -E. It's the same thing he did last year. He heard the word and just assumed he knew which one they meant. He didn't ask for a definition, didn't ask him to use it in a sentence, none of that. He spelled the wrong pedal. <laughs> he spelled P-E-T-A-L. It was P-E-D-A-L. So he was eliminated. The same thing happened last year. I don't remember what the word was, but it was a word that... You know, it, it could have been one of two different words, and he just assumed he knew which one they were talking about, so he spelled the wrong one. And, like, if you had just asked for something, you would have known which word to spell. And he said, Mom, I knew how to spell every other word in that spelling bee. I said, and you could have, if you had just asked for a little clarification on the word. He is tearing up his cat bed. He's just, he's, like, wrestling with it. So once again, he was knocked out of the spelling bee. But he has made a name for himself in the after school program when it comes to spelling. They do spelling bees in the after school program pretty often. Um, they do one, like one every couple of weeks. He has won, in the last two school years, he's won 16 of those spelling bees in, in two school years. He's, um, he's something. He's really good at it. to put pimentos in hush puppies. It's actually not bad. <laughs> Sorry, Dexter was singing me a song. I had to, I had to pause for a moment. <laughs> He's just singing me a little song. He's serenading me while I eat. save these things a barbecue sauce and use them for something else. If you don't know what a hush puppy is, it's like, um, kind of like cornbread, basically. They make these balls of batter and they deep fry them and they're crunchy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. It's basically just like cornbread. They're really good, but this has pimentos in it. I would have never thought to do that. It's really good. It's a very common thing to eat with barbecue. Then a banana pudding was an extra special surprise. I'll save my fork. <laughs> He's laying down behind me now. Pudding. Oh my. I made a video.
video making banana pudding one time back when we were still at the apartment. So you have vanilla wafers in here, the banana flavored pudding, whipped cream that was on top, and banana slices. And it's a, a very popular little treat in the south. It's so good. Mm. And it's homemade. Oh my word, that's good. You don't even have to put whipped cream on it. I think I think it's fine without it. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. It may look gross, but it's really good. I have a recipe that we're going to do. I have that last bag of cinnamon chips that we need to use up. I found a recipe. What are you doing? I found a recipe that sounds really good. It's um, it's a cheesecake that uses those cinnamon chips and uh, sweet potatoes. A sweet potato cinnamon cheesecake. Dexter. He's on my table. So we're gonna make that one day soon. Tonight we're gonna to be making wreaths. I'm making a regular Christmas wreath and two small wreaths. Well, hello. I'm finished, you, it's all gone. You don't need it. You want some banana pudding? Nope. <laughs> Mm-hmm, it's good. That is some good homemade banana pudding. I don't know who made it. They have this giant thing of it. That is a great big tray. I was up there checking out. And, um, I saw it sitting back there. I said, is that banana pudding? She said, yes, ma'am, it is. I said, Lord, give me a bowl of that. Mm-hmm. I didn't get my Christmas lunch. I feel like I deserve some banana pudding. It's got a lot of whipped cream in here. It's like they coat the bottom of the bowl with it or something. That is good. That is really good. Sometimes you can taste it and it's, it's just, I don't know, some people don't know how to make it right. Whoever made this, they did it right. And you know, I got all this. I think it was twelve seventy nine with tax for all this for the sandwich, the macaroni and cheese, the uh, pimento puppies, and the uh, banana pudding. I oh, thought that was a deal. Now, I didn't get a drink or anything because I know I, was, I got it to go and I was just going to drink something here. But honestly, even if you were just going to McDonald's, that what I paid for this is not much more than what you would have paid for a meal at McDonald's. And I'd a whole lot rather have this. And I get banana pudding. I don't have anything like this at McDonald's. I need a spoon or something. I thought a fork would work. Banana pudding's a good thing to make if you've got bananas that are starting to go bad. They're perfect. so good so I didn't get my Christmas lunch I think that was even better <laughs> mm. it's 
delicious, absolutely delicious. I'd love to take y'all in there and show you sometime. The only problem is every time they're open, they're super crowded. I had to wait in a long line to get my food. Um, and I, I, I don't think they want me in there making a video with all those people. I, if I were in there eating, I wouldn't want somebody making a video of me. So it's a really cool place. So if you're ever in you know, Central North Carolina, i definitely give it a try. They have some good stuff. But um, yeah, so now i got to get busy making wreaths. I'm going to make one regular one and two small ones. So it's going to be awesome. Okay, get started. I was going to do them earlier this week, and this whole week just got away from me. I think my new addition to the family, kind of, I just totally forgot, honestly. I forgot all about making wreaths. I was going to do them like Tuesday night, and I just totally forgot about it. It just occurred to me this evening, you know what, Mary? You never did make those wreaths, and Christmas is almost here. You might want to get on that, so I'll do it tonight and then get them, get them ready to mail tomorrow. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know not everybody likes videos where people eat, but some people do, which is why I wanted to do it. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.